Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Masai School. Uh, we are a 21st century career focused coding school. Uh, my name is Amanwats. I'm an engineering graduate from Birla Institute of Technology, Misra. Uh, I lead the data structures and algorithm curriculum at Masai School. So uh, let me tell you about this video series. <clears throat> Uh, in this video series, we'll be introduced to uh, computer programming. Uh, you will learn how to write basic computer programs. You will learn the basic constructs of a computer program. That is uh, data types of variables, conditional statement, loops, functions, everything. And you will be learning this in Python. All right. So <clears throat> this is a very fundamental uh, uh, video to, you know, getting started with computer programming in Python and uh, this video series is actually a part of the pre-course uh, for the full stack developer program at Mass High School. And now we have decided to, you know, make this course available for all aspiring programmers. So we really hope that it helps you in getting started with computer programming and in Python. So happy coding. Thank you so much. All right. Welcome back, guys. In the last uh, part of this pre-course, we looked at how does arithmetic operations work in Python. In this part of this course, we'll be looking at something called as comparison operator. Okay. So before moving on to this topic, uh, let's recap. Uh, we discussed that there is one type of variable that stores Boolean data, uh, data type. Okay. So what basically that means is there are some variables that stores uh, a data type that can either be true or false. Okay. So I just wanted to recall that because we'll be needing that particular thing during during this particular segment okay so what comparison operators are basically comparison operator are operators that returns you or that generates a boolean variable okay based on whether comparison is correct or not so what i mean by that is like in if, if you recall what we have what happened in arithmetic operators what happened in arithmetic operation so there were some operation performed on some numbers so suppose five plus seven is equal to num so this resulted in a number which was 12 and which was allocated to the variable num okay so in that case number was being returned okay but in comparison operator we have boolean variables that is we can have true or false as the output so it's something like uh, suppose i say mm, num is equal to uh it's something like is five greater than three then three so this output of this particular thing is true okay so this true is reported on that variable num okay so however we have a different way of writing this particular thing in program this particular thing in program but essentially this is what happens in comparison operator you compare something and you uh, so the comparison the output of any comparison will either be true or false like is a number greater than the other number are these two numbers equal is 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 the is one number greater than equal to other number so there are different comparisons which output can either be true or false so that is what we mean by comparison operator so let's look at different comparison operator conceptually then we'll look at it and how to be implemented in python so let's look at that <clears throat> so suppose we have uh, two numbers num1 and we have another number num2 and we want to compare if both the numbers are equal or not okay so we do it using double equal to sign okay so num1 is equal to is equal to num2 okay so if this particular thing if this particular thing can either generate true or false right both numbers will either be same or they will not be same okay so this is a comparison operator this is called equal to operator so this is a comparison operator which returns true or false based on whether two numbers are same or not okay so this is one comparison operator let's look at another comparison operator it's not equal to okay so how this comparison operator works is it again takes two numbers into consideration and it returns true or false based on whether these two numbers are equal or not okay so this is how we check it so this is the symbol like in equal to this was the symbol in this not equal to this is the symbol okay so when we write num1 
not equal to num2 so it means i mean it returns true if num1 is not equal to num2 and false if they are equal we'll look at it programmatically in a, in a, in a minute but before going to that let's look at what exactly conceptually these things may mean let's look at third comparison operator it's less than less than okay so so again it is also applied on two numbers so if num1 is uh, say num1 is lesser than num2 so again it returns true false if this particular statement i mean whether this particular statement is correct or not so if num2 is bigger and num1 is smaller then it returns true it returns false otherwise same is the case for greater than okay so based on whether you have your decision is true or false it returns a boolean okay so you can see from the comparisons that we are doing that the output will either be true or false all right i mean either the comparison results in into correct or it, it's not correct so suppose for example we have we have num1 is equal to 5 okay and num2 is equal to 2 so there are many more such there is greater than there is less than equal to so that's now i mean i hope you have understood the idea so I'm, we are moving forward so suppose i'm saying num1 greater than num2 what will be the output the output will be true right the output of this particular thing will be true because num1 is essentially greater than num2 okay because it's 5 and it's 2 similarly if we say i mean there is equal to as well so suppose num1 is equal to 2 num2 is equal to 2 and if we do num1 greater than equal to num2 so yes it's correct because it's asking is num1 either greater than or equal to 2 yes it is because it's taking into consideration equality as well all right so compare comparison i mean these operators check if a value is equal to greater than less than i mean all the possibilities of comparison okay and just want to highlight one thing here before moving to write these codes for these things please remember that one single equal to sign is used for assigning assigning a value to a variable okay for example if i say num is equal to 5 it means the variable num stores integer 5 but if i am saying num 1 or or say or say let's remove this say if we are saying num equal equal to 5 so this is comparison this is assignment and this is comparison so this would this would give you either true or false depending on whether num is 5 or not okay so single equal to sign assigns it a double equal to signs checks it let's now look at how we do this programmatically okay so we come back to the editor let's try to implement this thing so suppose i'm writing num is equal to 5 and i'm uh, say i'm doing print num double equal to 5 so what i'm doing is so basically this double equal to sign is used for comparison operator so essentially we are in this particular step what we are saying is is num equal to 5 and in the above step we have written num equal to 5 so this should return true okay and we are printing it so let's see what it prints yeah it does print true now let's suppose we change 5 to suppose 6 now what should it print it should print false why because i have assigned num as 6 and in the next line i'm checking is num equal to 5 so num is not equal to 5 it's equal to 6 so it should print false it does print false all right similarly if i want to suppose put is num greater than 5 it should print true why because num is 6 and it is indeed greater than 5 so yes it prints true suppose i put is num lesser than 5 it should print false because num is not less than 5 it is printing false okay let's 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 take two different numbers num1 is equal to 3 and num2 is equal to suppose 12 and suppose i'm printing num1 
greater than num2 and let's see what it prints so ideally what it should print so basically again i'm revisiting so this statement basically checks whether this particular comparison is correct or not so is num1 greater than num2 so it's not as we can see so the code should print false yeah it's printing false okay it just printed false suppose i say suppose i reverse this sign and to check what it does it just print true okay it's, it's we expected that only okay so this is about comparison operator there are different so let's let's check is num2 greater than equal to num1 so let's print this thing it printed true yes so basically when you have this thing when you have both the things it means take both the condition if it is equal as well take that into consideration if it is just greater take take that as well so it's it's like you know a loose bound or 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 you know being i mean both the conditions are taken if num2 is greater than num1 that's also taken care of if, if it is equal that is also taken care of so suppose i write 12 okay let's see so first let's clear this now let's run this code again so yeah it's printing true but if i remove this thing it would print false because this means removing this equal to signs means num2 is strictly greater than num1 not equal to but when i print equal to it means consider both the cases so now if i run this code it prints false okay because it's checking is num2 greater than num1 which is not they are equal okay if i do two equal to sign which means checking if both the numbers are equal so then it would print yes because both the numbers are equal if i check not equal to so let's see what it's doing in that case it's showing false because these numbers are equal and i'm, I'm checking here is num1 not equal to num2 that is not the case these are equal so in this case it would print uh, false okay so i hope uh, you are getting the sense what i'm trying to say and similarly i mean this is va uh, valid for negative numbers of, as well for obvious reasons I mean, it's just a comparison operator it has nothing to do with whether the comparison is being done in negative numbers or positive numbers so it is very valid for float as well so suppose i print 2.4 2.3 and i put here 4.5 and i say is num1 not equal to num2 it would return true because these numbers are not equal right so this is about comparison operators to recap i would say that comparison operator is used to compare two numbers okay and it, it is something that gives you or that that yields uh, true or false based on the comparison whether the comparison is correct or not okay so see you in the next segment thank you so much